Oh, what's going on, YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's your guy, Darian, the bow tie fragrance guy, man. On this channel, we talk about fragrances and we talk about fashion. So if you like to look good and smell great, then I think you stumbled upon the right channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. It don't cost you a dime. Go ahead and click it. That way you get notified when I upload new content and make sure you hit that bell icon because sometimes YouTube will actually notify you when I upload a video. Just sometimes. All right, guys, on today's video, we, I will be doing a tag video. Uh, I was tagged by my guy, Peace. This is Equality Fragrances from PG County, Maryland, and welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, or thing within my circumference of understanding of my cipher. It's peace. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, man, Equality Fragrances, man. Listen, I imitate everybody, so it's all love. Look at it this way. If I didn't know a lot of things you said, then you know, that means I wasn't watching your content, but I really dig his content, man. So if you guys never heard of Equality Fragrances, I recommend you guys go over and check out his channel because look, man, this guy knows his stuff. He knows his fragrances. Uh, he explains them very well. And also he talks about a lot of stuff that's kind of off the beaten path that not a lot of people talk about. So listen, go over and check out his, uh, his channel. I'm going to make sure I link him down below, but he tagged me in a video uh, that's entitled 10 t-shirt appropriate fragrances and from what i understand uh this particular video we are going to highlight fragrances that are perfect to wear when it's extremely hot outside and really all you feel like throwing on is a t-shirt i know i uh, dress up a lot guys i love my my uh, dress shirts my men's wear and my blazers but there are sometimes when i go out and i'm just shopping or whatever the case may be and it's really hot outside a t-shirt is the only thing that is going to suffice so i definitely definitely get those temperatures here down south where i am so i know all about fragrances that are only t-shirt white t-shirt appropriate so those are the fragrances that we're going to be talking about today fragrances that when you don't really feel like wearing a fragrance or it's almost too hot where you feel like it's too to wear a fragrance these are fragrances that will still work in high heat so if you want to see what made my list you know the routine keep it locked right here and also stay tuned to the end of the video to see who I tag. So if you want to hear what 10 fragrances that the Bowtie Fragrance guy has on his list, keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the list. Now, I know this isn't a part of the rules, but I didn't want to do two honorable mentions. The funny thing is with this video, I was about to record another video. I just happened to pull up Instagram and saw that he tagged me. So I was like, man, let me go ahead and jump on it and knock it out now. So I watched his video really quick and I saw that there were two fragrances on his list that I would have put on my list. So I want to give a quick honorable mention to Sicily for Mancera because I was going to put this on the list, but I want to give you guys some variety. He included that on his list. And also from the house of Dior, this is Dior on Dior on Cologne. Uh, these are definitely hot weather approved fragrances that I would have put on my list. But again, I have 10 others because I want to give you guys some variety. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first fragrance that I want to talk about definitely needs no introduction. This one comes from the house of Chanel and this is a Laura Own Edition Blanche. This is absolutely one of my favorite fragrances to wear in the summertime when it's hot. And I love to throw this on, man, especially when I'm wearing like a white t-shirt, just running some errands or whatever the case may be, because this stuff smells absolutely fantastic. Vanilla, of course, and lemon are the main notes in this fragrance. And hey, man, look, I know when it's hot outside, like I said, really hot, this is just something that's gonna work. And I'm gonna smell great, so I love to throw this on this is definitely white t-shirt approved from the house of Chanel. This is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance comes from the house of Bortnikoff, and this is called Amber Cologne. Amber Cologne from the house of Bortnikoff. Now, what I'm gonna say about this fragrance, don't be fooled by the name, I said this before, it is not talking about like the nice kind of sweet uh, amber. Uh, that you would think about. This is really referring to ambergris. Ambergris is one of the primary notes in this fragrance. You got very, very citrusy opening, primarily grapefruit is what you're gonna get in the opening. 
But man, I will tell you, you have to like jasmine to like this fragrance. It is very, very heavy on jasmine in the heart. Uh, but what you get on the dry down is a nice, again, ambergris, kind of musky vanilla dry down. But man, this stuff smells fantastic. It is quality through and through. Very photo realistic kind of authentic smelling fragrance that you get with this. You can tell there were quality ingredients that went into this bottle, but it's definitely one for me that is white t-shirt approved. I know the bottle's kind of fancy, but it can still, you can still rock this with a white t-shirt. So check this one out from the house of Bortnikov. This is called Amber Cologne. The next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Yi Saint Laurent, and this is YSL Y. YSL Y. Honestly, any iteration of this fragrance will actually work for a list like this, but when we talk about white t-shirt, I can't help but think about this one, the EDT. I told you guys, in the summertime, this is one of my most complimented fragrances. This is a very uh, nice, aquatic, sea salty kind of fragrance that really just smells good. It smells fantastic, and people are gonna respond to it. So again, when it's really, really hot outside, I always reach for this fragrance. I mean, you guys can see how much I've used out of this bottle. It is perfect to wear when it's really, really hot and really high temperature. So check this one out, of course, from the house of YSL. This is Y, the Eau de Toilette. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of uh, Mason Margiela, and this one is Under the Lemon Trees. Under the Lemon Trees from the house of Mason Margiela, and man, I love this one because when it's really hot outside, this puts me in a very relaxed mood and it smells great. It kind of envelops me in a almost, I don't know, kind of like this just kind of relaxing um, and comforting sensation that comes over me when I wear this and I absolutely love it. And that comes from the green tea in this fragrance. So it really, really works in high heat. Uh, tea is a note that uh, outside of a, a nice citruses that I like to really look for in a fragrance when it's really hot outside. Uh, it opens up, of course, with the lemon uh, lemon vibe or lemon type of accord that um, I talked about when I did a review of this. You get the green tea in the heart of this as well. But guys, this fragrance just really, really works. I mean, if you're looking for something, again, that you can wear in the high heat that is white t-shirt approved, this is one that comes highly recommended for me, your guy the bow tie fragrance guy. So check this one out, man, from the house again of uh, Mason Margiela, the replica line. This is under the lemon trees. All right, guys, now the next fragrance on this list, well, it's really not a fragrance, but but I didn't cheat because it is a fragrance. Well, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> from the house of eccentric molecules, this is Molecule 01. Molecule 01, and when you talk about white t-shirt approval, you talk about a fragrance that's not a fragrance, that is a fragrance that you can wear when it's really hot outside, you gotta talk about Molecule 01 because really this is ISO E Super. And when you put this on your skin, it kind of gives you a kind of, uh, kind of fuzzy, uh, slightly clean kind of vibe. I don't know, man, you guys know what this stuff is, man, but it just really, really works when it's really, really hot outside. This is the perfect thing to throw on your skin because it does almost feel like you're not wearing a fragrance. I mean, sometimes you're not even gonna notice that it's there, but you will get wafts of it throughout the course of the day and people, although you may not smell it on you that much, other people will definitely pick this stuff up and it smells phenomenal. It smells fantastic. So this is definitely t-shirt, white t-shirt approved. Check this one out from the House of Essential Molecules. This is Molecule 01. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list today, <laughs> perfect for a white t-shirt, perfect for hot weather, extremely high heat, from the house of Bond number nine, and nobody, and I mean nobody talks about this fragrance, but this one is called Sag Harbor. Sag Harbor, this is kind of one of my secret weapons to throw on when it's really, really hot outside in the summer, because again, absolutely nobody talks about this fragrance. And it has bergamot in the opening, but the star player in this fragrance to me, the star players come in the mid of this. You get a note of grape, which is not really used a lot, and fragrances and also magnolia and honeysuckle. So the heart of it is really, really floral, but I love the dry down of this, man. You get a little hint of amber and you get a very nice creamy uh, sandalwood to make this composition really creamy. But trust me, man, this stuff works magic in the high heat. Trust me, from the house of bond number nine, again, a fragrance that is highly slept on in my opinion. 
This one is called Sag Harbor. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, listen, this one is inexpensive and you can pick this one up, but definitely meets the white t-shirt criteria, man. So check this one out, man. This one comes from the house of Lacoste and this is Lacoste White or Lacoste Blanc. Uh, depends on where you look. But man, this is like, again, a quintessential white t-shirt fragrance. And again, what I love about this one is it is not gonna break the bank. You can spray this thing as liberally as you like because it's not gonna really overpower, man. But when you have on a white t-shirt and it's really hot outside, this fragrance is just going to work for you. And what I love about it, man, it has a very, very uh, nice pairing of uh, eucalyptus uh, in this fragrance. There's a nice pine tree kind of accord on the dry down as well. Uh, white florals in this as well, but just check this one out, man. It's a beautiful scent to wear when it's really, really hot outside and only a white t-shirt will do. I mean, guys, come on, check out the bottle. Check this one out from the house of Lacoste. This is called Lacoste L1212, but from the L1212 line, Lacoste White or Blanc. All right, the next fragrance on this list, guys, again, a perfect for this kind of situation from the house of Nishane. This one is called Ombre Calabria. Ombre Calabria from the house of Nishane. And man, this stuff is so freaking phenomenal. Oh man, I love this stuff. This one features notes of amber. It has some green leaves in here, so you kind of get this green vibe as well, but it dries down to a nice musky vanilla uh, fragrance. And man, again, it just really, really works. I love to reach for this stuff during the summertime when it's really, really hot because I know I'm gonna smell good. It's not gonna be overpowering, so it, it works really well because it, it doesn't really compete with the heat. And that's something that, of course, what this list is about. You don't wanna wear a fragrance, of course, that's heavy. Uh, when it's really, really hot outside, it's gonna become cloying. And although this has vanilla and musk, somehow it never goes into that cloying territory, which is what I love about it. And of course, with most fragrances from Nishane, you're gonna get some great performance as well. So. Again, check this one out, man, from the house of Nishane. This one is called Ombre Calabria. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, man, this fragrance rejuvenates me. So when it's hot outside, I love to reach for this one from the house of Atelier Cologne. This is called Sadrat and Avant. Sadrat and Avant. And I always talk about this fragrance and I say it smells like a, a lime mojito drink. That's what this smells like. Oh my gosh, this thing smells good, guys. If you never put your nose on this, listen, you are missing out. So do yourself a favor and go find this fragrance. It's summertime, it's right around the corner. And I guarantee you, for those really, really hot days, this is a fragrance that you are going to want to put on your skin. It is refreshing, it is invigorating, and those are two great qualities to look for in a fragrance when, of course, it's really hot outside. So. Again, if you never put your nose on this one, I highly recommend you put this one in your life from the house of Atelier Cologne. This is called Sadrat in a Rot. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list, this one comes from the house of uh, Amazing Francis Kirk John, and this one is called Petite Matin. Petite Matin, and I love this one when it's really hot outside in the summertime. This has been a staple in my collection for a long time uh, from the house of MFK, and when summer rolls around, this is one of the fragrances I reach for the most from that house. It's just so easy to wear, man. So soothing, so relaxing. And that's, of course, what I really love about this stuff. Oh, man, it smells so good. This one has a, a beautiful uh, orange blossom, of course. And like I said, orange blossom gives it this kind of, uh, kind of soapy clean vibe uh, when it opens up. But just one that you really, really have to experience. I'm telling you guys, if you never put your nose on Petite Matin from the house of Amazing Francis Kirk John, you're going to get quality in this bottle. And when it's really hot outside, this is one that you can reach for and you know you're going to smell fantastic. So again, this one comes highly recommended for me uh, from the house of Amazing Francis Kirk John. This is called Petite Matin. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this tag video as I gave you guys 10 fragrances that are white t-shirt approved um as always i appreciate your time and attention to these videos because of course i know you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right here with me and i sincerely appreciate it now i know that this is a tag video so i want to try to keep this tag moving so i gotta think about two people to tag really quick so let's tag uh
All right, I'm gonna tag Keith from The Fragrant Life and I'm gonna tag, somebody's probably gonna tag Justin from uh, Stay Fresh Production, but I'm gonna tag Keith, I'm gonna tag Justin. And I'll tag Keith and Justin for right now. I know some other people will get tagged, but just for right now, because I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head, I'll tag Keith from The Fragrant Life and Justin. So if you guys don't get tagged, you are tagged. So guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information to find me entertaining, because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.